All right. So we are in Liberty City right now. Just, uh, well, just about the land. So as you can see, this, um, the whole entire city is behind us over here. Just made it in. We also have a nice car waiting for us up there. This is the inside. We got champagne. You can enjoy the view out the windows as well. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo schemes and graphics we are picking up building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing liberty city 5 remix all right the link is going to lead you to this page right here that's going to be linked down in the description we're going to have a bunch of links make sure that you download all of the links okay so from this one uh this one's created by um a few authors shout out to all the authors that contributed to this project what you want to do when you get down here you can read the description when you select show more and after you're done doing that select the download button the next link that will be in the description will be game config this one right here is created by f7yo shout out to the creator and what you want to do is select the v30 current and select the green arrow to download uh, they also have the pack the pack and heap limit adjuster any files right here as well you can download those here or i will leave the link directly to pack file limit adjuster um, download page and you can just download it right here always download the current version of any script or mod all right the next link will be um, heap adjuster also make sure that you go ahead and select the current and download that Shout out to the creators of Pack File Limit Adjuster and Heap Adjuster. The next one is going to be Remastered Atlas. This is by uh, Loren Vidikin. Um, we are going to be downloading this also. Uh, we're going to be downloading both of these, the fixed the mini maps for the latest update. Select the green arrow to download that. And also the 411 standard current. Select the green arrow to download that as well. And last but not least, we are also going to be downloading the atlas colored map for liberty city 5 remix all right so we want to download this one as well by selecting the green arrow to download now there is going to be a requirement we are going to need open 4 and auto <laughs> we are going to need open 4 in order to install these we are not going to be installing open 4 today although i'll still will leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to install open 4 if you don't have it already so make sure that you check all of all of those links down link down in the description before you move forward all right so after you have your liberty city 5 remix game config pack foul limit adjuster heap adjuster remastered atlas colored map and atlas color map for liberty 5 remix downloaded on the left side i have all of my downloads right here all right and on my right hand side i have my grand theft auto 5 directory opened up and ready to go i have my open 4 opened up as well um what we want to do is start off with the liberty city 5 remix install readme folder okay this is the one you're going to get from the very first download page that we went to you're going to open up that folder then open up the liberty city 5 remix folder inside of that one as well and inside that folder is going to be a folder with images and then a uh, text document with all the links that we need when you double click that text document it's going to open up this text document with all of the links to different maps okay so if you're familiar with the last video I created for Vice Cry, um, that link is in here as well. For today, we are going to be installing the Liberty City 5 Remix in the southeast of the map. And you are going to need to take this link right here and download this link. It's going to be a Google Drive link, all right? So go ahead and copy that link, put it in the browser and download it. Once you have that downloaded, it should look like this right here this folder liberty city 5 remix after you have downloaded that folder go ahead and open it up it might take some time for you to download because it's pretty big 
Now, once you open up that folder inside Liberty City 5 Remix, what we want to do is leave this folder open. Then we want to go over to our GTA 5 directory. We want to make sure that we have a mods folder already in our GTA 5 directory. If you don't, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods, all in lowercase. After you have done creating that, open up the mods folder. Now you want to create another folder that says update. After that has been created, go ahead and create another folder and call it x64. After that has been created, create another folder and name it DLC packs. All right. Once that is all done, what we want to do is go back over here to our Liberty City 5 Remix folder that we had open. And you're going to see it has a DLC packs folder. All right. We can just go ahead and drag and drop this whole folder over or you can just open up the folder. And inside that folder, we are going to select all of these DLC packs that are, that are inside the DLC packs. OK, we should have East NY, Interiors NY, Jersey, Manhattan, Props NY and Roads NY. All right. We want to take all of those and drag and drop all of those folders over here to our DLC packs. This will take um, this will take some time because it's uh, pretty large, but, you know, just be patient and just wait. After those packs has been dragged and dropped over here to your DLC packs, we could go back over to our downloads, select the back arrow. And now what we want to do is go inside of our Liberty City folder. OK, there's going to be a Liberty City folder. Go ahead and open that folder up inside that Liberty City folder. We are going to have some OIV packages. OK, now the one that we are going to be installing is going to be the Liberty City 5 Remix Southeast V1. All right. This is the one that we will be installing. Um, feel free to install a different one if you want. But um, just for the tutorial purposes, you should stick with this one that I'm going to be downloading. So let's go ahead and open up our open four. All right, I have my open four opened up right here on the right hand side. Make sure that you have your edit mode turned on. This is a little button up here. Make sure that's turned on. After that is turned on, let's go ahead and select that Liberty City 5 Remix Southeast V1 OIV package. We're going to drag and drop that over here to our open four. Package installer window is going to open up. Select install. Select mods folder. Then select install confirm installation. Once that has been installed, we are all good to go. Let's go ahead and back out of this. Also, might I add, if you want to, this is all up to you, but they do have an extras folder in here. Inside the extras folder, there's going to be a lot of extras that you can install, um, like some more bridges, some trains, cranes, simple fuel, road textures, a whole different lot of stuff in here, okay? We're not gonna be installing any of the extras. We're just gonna install it straight by itself and with some atlas maps so let's go ahead and head back to our downloads now the next one that we want to go into is the remastered atlas colored map okay we want to open up this folder once we're in this folder let's go ahead and go inside the three low quality 8k times 12k feel free to install the other ones um, either the high quality one or the medium quality but for the tutorial we're going to be installing the low quality so open up that one and inside that one's going to be an OIV package. You're going to select that OIV package, drag and drop it over to open four. Once that is dragged and drop, a package installer window is going to open up. Go ahead and select install, select mods folder, then select install confirm installation. After that is done, press the back arrow, press the back arrow again. Now let's go to the next folder that we're going to install, which is the Atlas colored map for Liberty City 5 Remix. OK, it's going to say Liberty 5 Remix. Open up that folder inside that folder. We are going to go inside the low quality also inside this one. But feel free to pick high quality or medium quality. Once you pick that, um, there's going to be three more folders. For this one, we are installing the Liberty 5 Remix 1.0. So select this folder right here, Liberty 5 Remix 1.0. Open that folder. There's going to be an OIV package inside. Let's go ahead and drag that over to open four. A package installer window will open up. Let's select install, then select mods folder, then select install confirm installation. Once that has been installed, let's go ahead and press the back arrow, press the back arrow again, then again. 
now for this we want to install our fix the mini maps for the latest update okay this was the one that we um, had downloaded along with our remastered atlas colored map okay so we're gonna go ahead and take this fix the mini maps for the latest update and we're gonna drag and drop that into open four since it is a OIV package once this package installer window opens up go ahead and select install then select mods folder then select install confirm installation and once that is done we could go ahead and move to the next one which is our GTA 5 game config go ahead and open up the GTA 5 game config folder inside that folder we're going to select the GTA 5 config v30 select that folder inside that folder there's going to be two options for less mods or for more mods select for more mods and you're gonna have a wide option in here feel free to select what you want I suggest selecting this 01 times traffic 01 times pits um, just the first time around and you could always come back and try a different one but for today this is the one that I am going to be installing so let's go ahead and select the mods folder select update then select update.rpf then select common data and inside here is where we are going to be dragging and dropping our game config. Just drag it right over here and drop it. After that has been dragged and dropped, let's go back over here to our downloads. Go back. All right, now we are back at our downloads. Next up, we are going to be installing the heap adjuster. In order to do that, let's go ahead and bring up our GTA 5 directory. Go back to the directory by either just tapping on GTA 5 at the top or just pressing the back arrow. Now that we are back in our GTA 5 directory, let's go ahead and open up our heap adjuster any folder. And inside that heap adjuster any folder, we're going to have two files. We're going to drag and drop those two files right over here. I already have it as you can see. After that has been dragged and dropped, let's go ahead and go back to our downloads. Press the back arrow. Now we want to go into the next folder, which is pack file limit adjuster. Open up the pack file limit adjuster folder. Inside that folder, we want to select these two files that I have highlighted. Everything except the README. All right, then we're going to take these two files I have highlighted, drag and drop them over here to our GTA 5 directory. Once that has been dragged and dropped, let's hit back. And let's just double check on everything. Looks like we are all good. From this point, we could go ahead and minimize any of the windows that we might have open and run the game. All right, once you spot into the game, if you look at your mini map, you can tell that um, it's going to look different because you have the Atlas map installed. If you uh, go ahead and open up the map by the pause menu, you will see the whole entire Atlas map. And you will also see Liberty City down here as well. Liberty City 5 Remix. All right. Now for this one, um, it's not exactly just going to be showing up over here because we do have a, um, a LC map uh, disabler which disables the map from being shown until you actually get close to it so this is how we are going to get to Liberty City we are going to be taking a flight right here at the airport down here at the Los Santos International Airport you could teleport there or you could also press function key F2 function key F2 is going to open up this LC map disabler menu on the top left of the screen select the first option which is autopilot marks in Los Santos Airport and then there will be a whole list of different maps that you could um, access through the airport alright so for us we installed Liberty City which is LC that's the first one so select the first one on the list that's going to teleport you here to the airport right here to this marker alright we could exit out of that uh, menu right there when you see this yellow marker right here you can just walk into it and they'll have instructions at the top left of the screen on what button to press to uh, fly to liberty city so let's go ahead and fly to liberty city then you will see yourself inside of the airplane taking off from the runway on your way to liberty city Right, so we are in Liberty City right now. Just, uh, well, just about to land. So as you can see, this uh, the whole entire city is behind us over here. Just made it in. 
We also have a nice car waiting for us up there. This is the inside. Got champagne. Enjoy the view out the windows as well. All right, there goes our rental car. All right, let's just wait for the pilot to stop. There we go. And now uh, we can get out. Wow. All right. So if you wanted to go back to the airport or make your way back to Los Santos, um, you will have to find the airplane blip on our new map in Liberty City. It's going to be down here at the airport. So we can just teleport right over here. I'm using a simple trainer to teleport. So when you are ready to leave back to Los Santos, you want to find this little marker right here. Step into the marker, follow the instructions at the top left of the screen. And we will be back in the airplane taking off from a runway, leaving Liberty City on our way back to Los Santos. We have finally arrived back at Los Santos. You kind of still see it over there a little bit. Back there in the clouds. Alright, so we have made our way back to Los Santos. We also have a rental car that's up there waiting for us as well. Alright buddy, you can stop right here. This will be good. Uh, thank you. Come on. Cool. Alright. So let's go ahead and jump inside of this rental car. Oh. Also, um, the screen will fade in and fade out real quick. And you will see that the plane will disappear. Um, that's okay, I guess it's supposed to do that. Now let's open up the map. And if you come to this location right here, I'm pretty sure that you have noticed bridges in the background. And if you come right over here, San Andreas uh, Sustantia Road, I believe it's called or pronounced. You want to come right over here. And as you can see, as soon as I place my, um, my marker right here, you can tell that it's a little stream right here. And this is going to lead over here. To Liberty City 5 Remix. All right, so we do have a bridge right here, and there's also another bridge I believe that's up this way as well that will lead you over to here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and teleport over to this area right here. All right, now the bridge is right here. Let me just turn the car around. All right, so as you can see, there is a bridge and it says Liberty City and you will have cars driving across that bridge as well. Now, of course, if you look from right here, you will not be able to see Liberty City. If you look up and across, you can't see Liberty City yet. There is also another bridge that I mentioned earlier that you could take from up at the top of um, San Andreas or Los yeah, San Andreas pretty much to get to Liberty City as well just keep driving this way and the screen will fade out and fade back in and you will be able to see Liberty City and there you go so you can take a bridge also you don't necessarily need to fly and also you can teleport over here by using uh, this menu that I showed you earlier pressing F2 if you go down to the section, uh, if you go down to the second option, <laughs> which is autopilot marks and mops and mods maps, <laughs> autopilot marks and mods maps. If you select that, you will have the option just to teleport straight over to whatever map that you had installed. All right. 
so for this one we have traffic over here as well we have people is populated um, lights and all that stuff works and yeah you you also have interiors here as well uh, we just passed a burger shot let's see just past the burger shot. Right, back over here. There we go. So we just passed the burger shot. As you can see, it's people inside. Side burger shot over here. Now, I can't remember where all of the interiors are at. So I'm gonna drive around just for a little bit. down the street okay this is so much better to have a map so we have a map for Liberty City we could actually see where we're going on the mini map now don't forget also there is extras that I had uh, mentioned earlier they have a folder with extras that way you could install uh, some trains or whatnot and you'll be able to go down in the subway and take some trains um, around the city if you like they also have cranes and things of that type of nature also so yep we are pretty good right here yo I'm just gonna go ahead and let Franklin drive around um, we're gonna end the tutorial here as well but if this helps y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already e and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all's games and graphics me and big bowling ass frank we are out of here until next time i ain't scared of you motherfuckers